gentlemen, backyard barbecue is barbecue S. This is your boy Mr. B. Um, I promised y'all I was going to talk about what Smitty doing. Um, I don't think he really talked too much on what he got going on, but uh, he did uh, uh, send me some video through the internet. I'm going to download those, transfer them from my phone to uh, uh, my MacBook so I can edit those and then send it to you so you can see what he's doing out there. Um, barbecue don't stop just because one person doing it. Or not doing in this case, right? Um, I'm gonna show y'all some things that I use, man, in the future out here. Cause charcoal, man, be blessed. If you got access to charcoal, wood. Oh my God, I'm looking for lump coal and it's killing me not to find it. But long story short, man, in the videos that come, I'll talk about all that stuff. The things I'm using as substitutes. You learn a lot when you don't have the things you used to have, and so. Be blessed that you are in a position, if you are, to uh, utilize stuff that's already set there for you. Now you gotta get creative. But we're gonna talk about that at a later date. Without further ado, let's roll into Smitty's video, man. Appreciate the video, Smitty. We'll be back and talk about this video in the end. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Smoker with Smitty. I have one half of Backyard Barbecues. And today, um, I'm doing a little something at one of my friends' house. We're working on vehicles in the front. I'm like, hey, you know what? Let me throw some on the grill. So, you know, uh, right here about to throw some wings on the grill. Got the grill all hot already. Oh, open it up. Oof. Thing ready. So, yeah. We got the grill over here. We're working on a char broil today. You know what I'm saying? Doing the indirect heat. Got some wings and stuff going on. So, you know, we're going to be out here messing with that. Got the cooler down here. I'm going to do a little experiment with, um... Boy, I look fat on camera. Oof. But anyway, um... We're going to do a, um, which one tastes best, you know what I'm saying, flat griddle, burgers, and um, directly on the um, open flame, you know, so we're going to see what's going on, like like how um, the Whopper is, so we're going to play something like that, we got a little special burger I'm going to put together, but the first thing I'm going to do is load this thing with wings, and i get back with you guys in a few minutes, alright, everyone have one, hold out, peace. I told y'all before we run here just working hard, over here my boy Ricky D House, I'm saying I got my boy Oz over here, you know what I'm saying, we got this Grand Cherokee over here we're working with. I'm saying he did a little some a little co at intake work. We should have did the whole process, but you know, did a little play a little bit with this. I'm saying I should have been out here working, but you know I'm out on that grill, get my get my smoke on. So we're gonna have a few cold ones. Did a co at intake. You know what I'm saying? Some people that straight six in there. You know it wasn't too bad. We're gonna crank this thing up. Oh, let's do a, let's do a suck, boy. Let's do it. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, things sound good. Okay. Oh, Ricky D, the head, head mechanic in charge over here. Yeah, man, we lay everything on this thing, played around with it, did some work on it. Coa Antic just day, did some suspension work, did some um, capsule suspension, and played with this car for like a few weeks, man, so yeah. To let y'all know, man, we over here, like I really told you, we was doing some work over here, just playing around, after work stuff. All right, now. <laughs> go again for get me a cold one, man. All right, one. All right, everybody. Here we go see working with over here. Let me just smoke down. You know, I really do have, really do like the char broil, you know what I'm saying? Um, messed with a lot of other grills before, you know, everyone had one of these, you know, with the indirect smoke, you know what I'm saying? You got your firebox on this side. You know what I'm saying? You got your chimney on this side, so you know the smoke comes through. You know what I'm saying? Comes up, bellows up on this hot side, on this side right here and goes up. Well, I'm doing a little bit different. Use an indirect, so I'm over here on this side, inside the cooking surface. You know what I'm saying? Let my smoke come up, I close through, and it comes up to my exhaust. So, kind of doing the same thing. I'm trying to get this, got my fire going good. Got a little wood down here, so you know I'm smoking these wings. Looking actually pretty good. I pulled these back. These are my lemon peppers, letting these work right now. So, doing a little work right here. Uh, I got my lemon peppers right here. These right here, my just the uh, one on top is the mojo. I did like a mojo seasoning, but I also hit went back hit with a little Cajun on top of it. I mean, correction, a little chili pepper on top of these. So these are gonna be a little bit different. And if the darker ones, if you can get into all these right here, are Cajun, so letting them smoke to get that Cajun flavor all the way in. So sorry about this video. I'm trying to do everything by myself. So, you know, let me get this down. Oh, and your boy got a fire. So, let me get up out of here. I'm going to fight this fire, you know what I'm saying? All right, like back draft. Y'all take it easy, you know what I'm saying? All right, now this your boy, Smoking with Smitty, a.k.a. Half of Backyard Barbecuers. 
slash the king dingaling of King City, King City Barbecue. From there, Queen City Barbecue. But my channel will be out soon, even though they talk about me all the time. What I'm doing right now, y'all, guys, all my ribs, are, all my um wings are smoked. But you see here, I got a cast iron plate down over the fire. So all I'm doing is crisping up my skin. Now I put a pattern on this already because I took a letter, wrote my idea down, and put it in the envelope. And put it in the and I ain't put the stamp on it yet. But this is my idea. But y'all take my idea for me. The cheap way to do a pattern too. So I got all my wings just crisp up, everything. Everything looking good. So we can get in here, got a little low light, we can get in here and see how good the skin looks. Just crisp up the skin. I'm gonna smoke it for like a few hours. I know everybody gonna be like, oh, I, I did that yesterday. No, you didn't. There you go. Here we go. This is what I do, man. Next, we still gotta come back for the burger, so. Still getting these crisps up, smoked up. So you're gonna have smoky crispy wings, three different flavors. I got a um, lemon pepper that everyone is approving. You got Ricky D over there chewing on. What you got, what you got over there, Ricky? Spicy or Cajun? Cajun. Cajun. Got a Cajun over there, Ricky D. He ain't complaining about it. <laughs> We got a lemon pepper we just tested out that was good. And I just did a um, Montreal season with my base season on underneath. So, you know, have a little fun out here tonight. Drink a few cold ones, that's what we do. Don't worry about all this stuff here because, you know, we all country and this is what we do. All right, have a good one. Be back in a few. Sit on her ass. They can sit on her ass together and listen. That's right. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Shut on their ass. But anyway, look at these. You can't see these things right here. These things are beautiful. I can't even remember how to turn my light on. I'm going to on, on, the, on this thing. But anyway, they're beautiful. You'll see them when I get them inside. Now I'm about to put these big mouth burgers on. So we'll get that done in a few minutes. Get everything off. Skin crisp and good. Look at that. I get it now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You hear it. Cooking in his own juices. Colonel ain't got nothing like this. Yep. All right, y'all. The boy going out again. Kind of do the medium. All right, now everybody. Now I'm finally doing the comparison. Which one gonna be best? Flame broil on this side or on the flat top? Yes, I'm on the flat top. So you know I'm working these working these burgers over here, trying to see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Is the flat top better? It's the flame broil. So you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring this flame up a little bit, get more heat. But yeah, we're gonna make the comparison, we're gonna do it tonight. Again, you know what I'm saying? One half for backyard barbecues slash Queen City. Alright now. The comparison number two. Oh yeah, also, sorry to cut. Look at these burgers. Let's get down with them. These are not tiny burgers. These are Alabama Big Mouth. You know what I'm saying? It's thick, hand padded out, hand seasoned with special ingredients. And I got a few more that actually has jalapenos built in. Yeah. Have a little spice. Hit you, hit you, hit you in the back. Right in the back of your throat. Maybe I'm going to get these on in a few minutes. All right, y'all. Have a good one. This is your boy, Smith, Smoking with Smitty. Out. Yeah. All right, now everybody. Hey, this is what we're doing. Doing the comparison. Flat griddle. I'm saying heat on. Flame on over here. You got to keep working. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. We're doing work over here. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? The thing I see about the flame, you got to keep working it. But look at that thing. Looking beautiful, though. Flat grill. My disadvantage is you got to keep cleaning this thing off. You got to clean it off. Got to keep that grease moving. And I like using my grease, you know. Have fun, have the effect, you know what I'm saying? if you know you ride. Alright, y'all. We're gonna get on this taste difference in a few minutes. So, give me like a few more minutes, I'll shoot one on taste. Let everybody like it. Alright, now. What's going on, everybody? Right here, the bill. I tried to come up with a name last night, and I finally came up with it. I think I'm gonna call it the Pothole Filler. So, Got my meat going on. Got these nice collard rolls. Got my mayo. Got double cheese We're going all in over here. Got the good stuff. My rom got my um, romaine lettuce. Take that stem out. Trash over here. You know I'm getting hood over here. 
Yeah, man, but um, last night we did a little cook. Last night we were comparing the two. You know what? The canine two, it really depends on the person. For me, I actually enjoyed the flame grill. And so that's my personal preference. But after that, it really doesn't matter. It's up to the person. So I got my lettuce on. I got my tomatoes going on. Going crazy with this thing. Hope you got a big pot hole to fill with this. A few more jalapenos. And my cheese I use, I use a um, extra sharp cheddar. Stay with that buddy. I got this. Got this, got this, that, that, that. You know you gotta have your condiments on point. Everybody do that condiments look different. I'm going straight on to the right here. Love this. I'm always working all the time. I got the humongous King Kong version of ketchup. Always got to be ready. Nice mix. Boom, boom. Not going back in there. I have stuff messed up. Then to top it all off, going crazy with it, y'all. Yep, that is what you think it is. Pork belly. Three huge pieces of pork belly on top. Yep, your boy done put a fried egg on it. Come on, y'all, come get it. Come get that pothole filled. That's gonna be it. It's your boy. It's your boy again. Smoking with Smitty. One part of Backyard Barbecues. And this right here, put her together. There she is. She is a creature. Ooh, 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 don't you follow me on National TV. Don't you do it, because I'm a plug. There we go. Shit together, y'all. No hands. All right, have a good one, y'all. Hey, y'all, we're back, man. And I got to tell you, man, after looking at these videos of Smitty, man, Smitty would cook on anybody grill. I will, too, but I don't, I don't, I don't tell people, right? You can buy two of the same grills, and they burn totally different, right? So props on him for not burning that chicken. Hey, doing that flame broil, uh, uh, the flame, the flame broil Whopper burger, and then the one on the uh, the uh, cast iron skillet, man. I need that. I need that cast iron skillet, Smitty. Um, you can give me that one. I'll take that one. Or just point me in the right direction. I get my own. I like that. That's a good idea, man. Putting that skin on there. That way you don't really burn the chicken. You still get the crispiness of it. Um, well, give me an opportunity to try it out and see if it works, man. Um, definitely going to put that one in my reservoir, man, for future endeavors and stuff like that right, let's talk about this video for a minute all right so smitty what you doing out there working on the car man I, smitty i don't get it smitty smitty is one of these these guys everybody got one or you know one that knows something about everything right love the devil man hey you need somebody like that on your team man somebody that knows how to slaughter a hog Somebody knows, hey, your transmission going bad. Hey, uh, you might want to change uh, the seasoning color because uh, that ain't going to work with that particular season. You need somebody like that on your team, man. No one person knows it all. Um, if you even look at people on TV, the back, the backyard kings or the barbecue kings, man, they, uh, they claim the fame is a team. And you don't see one individual, one individual going up and get the title. Um, but at the end of the day, man, that's earned by multiple people. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's the second half of Backyard Barbecues, man. He, he come out with his own little shindig on YouTube. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, we've been talking about that for a while. But, uh, we're gonna get that thing off the ground for a minute, because I want y'all to be able to see what he does, um, on the regular. What else? Uh, we talked about the chicken, we talked about the burgers. That's it. Oh. Pie filler? This burger, man, that's crazy. Like, I don't eat eggs, right? And I'm just looking at how many jalapenos he was stacking on top of that burger. Somebody in for a rough night. I'm gonna tell you that right there. A bunch of, bunch of, you're gonna have high cholesterol, be stopped up with bread, and they have some flaming jalapenos in your body. I wonder how that's gonna work. I don't know. 
And that thing, man, that thing monster. You see, I just stick a knife through it just to hold it up, man. So I can just imagine, like, just trying to bite it to that thing, man. Um, other than that, man, the burgers look on point, man. Y'all see the picture, man. If you're looking at the video before you click on it, the picture of the chicken look outstanding. I wish I could taste it. Feel like I could eat it through the screen. Um, look like he's still handling business over there on a chore brawler. I salute you for that, boss, because it's hard because of them things, man. You got you to have some skills to get on that thing and do your thing without burning it up, man. Had the indirect heat going on, you know, on one side. If y'all don't know what that is, charcoal on one side, your meat on the other. Then he turned around and spread it out, and then he had the grill going. Then he had burgers over here with open flame, man. See, that's being creative. That's being able to be versatile and cook various ways at the same time, man. Everybody can't do that. And then provide a decent product that people would actually want to eat. All right. We all know we can eat our own cooking. But when you let somebody else eat your cooking, and then they don't come in, one or two things happen. All right. Generally, when you cook food and people don't talk while they eat, either it's good as heck, or they don't want to tell you it's bad as heck, right? One or two. Right? If you just watch them, right? Go to the bathroom, come back, see if they burger bit, see if they burger missing. Yeah, look at the trash, man. Look under something up under the trash. You know how they, you try to hide something that you ain't want nobody to know was nasty. So you try to put it under a layer of trash. <laughs> Gotta let you know right there if what you're doing is on point or if they truly ate it. Um, but anyway, man, like I said, I salute you. Just made it for the video. Thanks. Thank you on barbecue and barbecue at, man. Keep watching, man. Like I said, I'm gonna keep giving y'all content. Do my best to do, uh, uh, put out more videos. I believe it was three weeks since my previous video. Um, I mean, the one before I told, kind of told y'all where I was. Still ain't told you yet, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it with Smitty, if he come out here uh, in a couple weeks. So, uh, stick around, man. Like I said, we... Oh, I just hit 2,500 subscribers, man. That's crazy. 2,501. That's nuts. That's nuts. 2,501, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess the goal is, I remember when I had 100 subscribers, man. I remember when I was trying to get to 100, and now I did that times 25. That's crazy. What does that even mean? That means somebody was just, oh, let me click on this and then keep on going. Oh, you actually watching me out there, YouTubers? Um, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I'm not all into the uh, the analytics, as they call it, on uh, stuff like that and how things work. All I see is 2,501 people like the barbecue. I'm 2502. So like I said, I salute y'all. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep coming. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos, man. Let's get this thing up to 10,000. Whatever that means. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there, man. Got t-shirts. I just linked up with a man um, I work with. He, he kind of does t-shirts on the side. See if I can get y'all some, uh, some t-shirts out there. Stuff like that. He say he do aprons too. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I, I see a lot of people say a lot of stuff. Um, but, you know, I put my trust into you and you, you, sh you shoot me down. So, things are coming slowly. I wish I could speed the process up. But, like I said, work engulfs me right now because um, that's what pays the bills and allows me the opportunity to use equipment like this HD camera I'm using right now, this, this iPad, the MacBook. Um, all the toys that I get, some of them free, man. Some of them people give me stuff to talk about, and you know I'm straight shooting with that. So send me your toys, man. I give my honest opinion on video. Um, hit me up, you know how to hit me up via email, um, and we'll go from there. Till next time, y'all. Stick with me through this pain and suffering of being able to not cook on Big Bertha. Trust me, she in the garage, garage kept, so I ain't worried about rust. When I come back, man, I'm pulling her out, man, shine her up, put a good coat of uh, oil on her, peanut oil. Uh, and then we're going to fire up, man, and I'll probably load that thing out, man, just because I missed Big Bertha. No offense to the family. But uh, anyway, like I said, we'll see y'all uh, hopefully next week or in the weeks to come. Understand where I'm at. It's kind of hard to do stuff. Uh, and we're going to go from there, y'all. Thanks for watching. God bless. And keep this barbecue smoke rolling. Holla.